Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is about how to solve the Fisher cube. But dice, isn't that a 3x3? Three three? Well, yes, it's a 3x3, three three, but it's a 3x3 three three Fisher cube. I will put a regular 3x3 three three next to it. So this is a Fisher cube and this is the regular 3x3. Three three. As you can see, it, it, this has square cuts. Like all the pieces are squares, but this one, there's a square, a pentagon, and some triangles. And on the blue side, there's regular rectangles here. Unlike here, you have squares. The Fisher cube also has the three parts of the Rubik's cube, like the corner, the edge, the center. But here, this is the corner, the triangles. The edges are the pentagons. And the centers are these pieces on the center here. This red, green, green, orange, and so on. So here the center has two colors, while here the center is just one color. The notations for it are also the same, where in the regular 3x3, this is R. Here, R is like this as well. Okay, so now let's go over the outline and let's start solving. So at first, we need to solve the white cross and then the white layer and then the second layer. And then finally, the yellow cross, the yellow corners and to orient them correctly, just like a regular 3x3. Three three. Okay, let's go ahead and scramble our cube. Wow, well that's one messy cube we got here. So let's go ahead and look for the white centerpiece, which is this one. So let's go ahead and look for the first white edge. This is a white edge, as I've said before, the pentagons. So it's the blue orange. So we have to look for the blue orange side. So it's this one. Okay. The approach here is gonna be different because I'm going to put the white edges on the yellow side first. So how do I do that? Since it's on the bottom, we can either turn it left, we can turn it left and then put it down on the yellow side. See, it's already here, this piece. And then the orange blue needs to go to the blue orange side. So we can just turn it here. But as you can see, they are on opposite sides. So how do we fix this? Well, first we move away the edge piece and then we turn the orange blue side twice. One. Two. So when you put back the piece, the colors will match and you can now put it on the white side. One, two. So now it's here, orange, blue, and the white side, the white edge is on the white side. So now let's go ahead and look for the second white edge. So it's here on the yellow side and it's the orange, blue piece. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the red, blue piece. So since the red, blue piece center is over here so we have to turn this once and then put it here and then so it will match so that we have to put it on the white edge white side there so the third is over here let's go put it on the green yellow face i'm sorry so it's the green red we this is the green red side we turn away the edge piece fix the face and then put it back and put the face on the white side see this is the final one now it's already fixed for us so now let's go ahead and put it on the white side and now we have the white cross complete so just like the three by three after the white cross we have to solve for the corners so our first one is the white orange and it needs to go here so we can just turn it to the left put this down put it back and put it back up so that we have the corner piece here. Our second is the white red, and since orange is opposite to red, we we need to put it here. This is the red side, and then turn it away, put it down, put it back, and turn it back up. And then we have the red piece in its correct place. Let's go ahead and look for the third. It's here, the white blue. So it needs to go here, turn it away, Put it down, and then put it up. Our last one is the white green. Where are you, white green? There you are. So put it down, 
put it back and put it back up. Now that we've finished the first layer, let's go ahead and solve the second layer. So remember, these are the center pieces. Now these ones between them are the edge pieces. So we have the green side already fixed for us. Let's go ahead and do the orange one. Well, since it's here, let's go ahead and do the blue one. So our blue piece is here. We can either put it on this or this side as long as it has, it has blue. So since I've put it on the right side of the blue, I need to place it on the right. Just like the 3x3. Three three. So the algorithm goes like L prime, U, L, then turn it to the right, to the left, I'm sorry. And then U, R, U prime, and R prime. So that we have the blue edge piece in its correct place. So let's go ahead and look for the red. Here's the red. So since, on, since it's on the left side, let's turn it to the left. And then the algorithm is R, U prime, R prime. And then we turn it to the right. And then it's U prime, L prime, U, and L last edge piece is the orange one so I'll put it on the left and there you go so it's R U prime R prime we turn it to the right and then U prime L prime U and L and now we have solved our second layer what's special about the Fisher cube is that it can also have a parity unlike the regular 3x3 three where this one doesn't have a parity. So our parity here is that there is only one edge piece where there's either supposed to be zero, two, or four. So how do we fix this? We have to follow a certain algorithm to put the yellow edges either zero, two, or four on their correct places. So it goes like R, U, R prime, U2, R, U2, R prime, U, F prime, U prime, and finally F. So now we have the J. From that, we can now do the algorithm to get the cross. So it's F, R, U, R prime, U prime, and F prime. We have to do it again so since we have the line. So it's F, R, U, R prime, U prime, and F prime. Finally, we have the cross. After that, we have to make sure that the edges are in their correct places by checking their colors. So this is wrong, 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 wrong. So since there's nothing right, let's go ahead and turn. There's only one correct, so let's go ahead and turn again. So we have one and two. So again, we have to put one away from us and the other one to the left. The algorithm goes like R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, and finally another U prime. So we have all the edges in their correct places and their colors are correct. The last step is to put the corners in the right places and to orient them. So since it looks like there are no pieces where they should be. Oh, there is one. This one blue. So let's put it on the right side and let's perform the following algorithm. So it's L prime, U, R, U prime, L, U, R prime, and U prime. So blue is still the only one correct so let's do it again it's l prime u r u prime l u r prime and u prime so they are all in their correct places so let's go ahead and orient them so let's do the final algorithm which will affect the two pieces on the right side so it goes like this R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, 
U prime, R prime, and then there's L prime, U2, L, U, L prime, U, and L. Since they're still not correct, let's do it again. Okay, now that there's only two, let's do it one final time. And now we have solved our Fisher cube. So we finally finished our second modified 3x3. Well done! <laughs> so what do you think about it? Do you have any suggestions for my next video? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to know if I posted a new video. Thanks for watching. Dice out!